Hi, my name is Paul Aspel. Um, I'm a studio potter. Uh, I've been a potter or working in clay for over 40 years. Um, I also have my degree in art education, undergraduate degree, and my graduate degree in ceramics. And I've taught uh, high school art for 30 years. And uh, pottery is uh, my passion. And uh, we're happy to be here in Chestertown and making art in Chestertown and living in Kingstown. I'm Irene Aspel. I have a Bachelor of Fine Arts from MICA in Baltimore. I originally studied textile design, but I certainly from my education know how to do a lot of different things, so does Paul. Um, but I concentrate mostly on printmaking and painting and a little ceramics here and there, go figure. <laughs> and we love Chestertown. It has a large arts community, a very varied arts community, not just a lot of painters, um, but uh, three-dimensional artists, printmakers, potters, weavers, knitters, you name it. Uh, someone's doing it around here, and there are a lot of events put on by downtown Chestertown uh, arts committees to promote that and have have it be a, a center for um, the the arts and for purchasing art. The the great part for me is the the great part for me is that the the River Arts Pottery Studio uh, has so many people involved in working in clay. Uh, they just organized a Potter's Guild, I guess, about a year and a half ago. And there are, I think there are 38 members of this potter, clay guild, and it's pretty exciting. You know, there's always something going on in town, like Irene was saying, um, the art walk, and then, of course, our, uh, the upcoming um, studio tour. But I really relate to uh, the nature around uh, the eastern shore, uh, branches. Uh, uh, I take uh, old uh, uh, red bricks and grind them up and incorporate them into the clay. And so I'm very much uh, about the texture of the pot, o along with shape and the silhouette and everything, but uh, the surface is really important to me. I have been gardening my entire life and because of where we live and um, availability of plants, I'm also a native gardener. It is a home for native species that is filled with mostly native plants. And I use that to inspire me and take photographs and work for them from those images. And um, I'm sure Paul does the same. Uh, I use uh, uh, a lot of river birch branches in my work. Uh, I'm, for example, I make this uh, large pitcher, this vase, flower vase, it's a pitcher. And, the, it is, the, the clay is actually rolled into the branches to give, to give the detail, to give the texture. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so that, that, is, that is not done by hand. I roll the, that clay into the branches to get the image. So let me talk about my prints because that's my most recent uh, endeavor. Uh, I have a series of bird prints. There are 12 different native birds. And uh, when they started, they were pretty straight up line of cut uh, prints on paper. Uh, but then I began collaging with them and printing over other images. And more recently, they're becoming uh, commentary. So environmental issues play into it. Um, Sometimes political issues play into it. So you may think you're buying a pretty bird print, <laughs> but sometimes if you look a little closer, it, it's a statement. <laughs> so Paul has a website, Paul Aspel Pottery, um, with a link to Instagram for his images. Um, and we both can be reached by email and by phone. We're open both days, both weekends from 10 to 5. There is a plan in uh, maybe winter or early spring to start, I'm going to start offering uh, 
pottery classes in the evening, uh, some hand building classes where you work with coils and slabs, and also uh, some work on the potter's wheel. Uh, I've been an educator for 30 years and uh, I, I've been teaching at the Academy Art Museum for 13 years and will be leaving there uh, in December and so uh, I will be teaching here and uh, uh, if you are interested uh, you can check in with me uh, during the uh, studio tour.